the number one problem I have come to see that newbies in the fashion design business or tailoring business have is how to sell their products or services, okay? So in today's video, I was in a live session with two people. You get to listen to our conversation and hear their challenges because I'm sure a thousand of you have this same problem, okay? And hear the advice I gave to them. Now, this is not a mentorship session per se. This was a free session, right? I have been doing this for a while now. Before I put together my mentorship program, I tell people how I do mine, what they should do. It works for them. And glory to God. <laughs> you get to meet the lady right now. Her name is... And before I call out her name, I actually got permission from her to share this publicly. Okay, her name is Emanuela. So, Emanuela is my YouTube subscriber. Shout out to Emanuela. Hi, Emanuela found me here on YouTube and she followed my link into my WhatsApp where she told me she would like me to be her mentor. So, Emanuela came on, on my WhatsApp and told me her story. So, Emanuela is a self taught fashion designer. Actually, she went to school to study nursing. She has practiced nursing for some years, but for some reason, she and her family moved out to a new location and she hasn't been working for a while. Now, she said she loves fashion design and would want to do fashion design as a source of her livelihood. She would want to do it full time, you know, but currently, Emanuela does not know how to sell. <laughs> Emanuela doesn't know how to get customers, you know, and it's frustrating her. So she reached out to me and wanted to know what to do. Okay. So I'm going to be showing you right now on the screen the live conversation we had via voice note on WhatsApp. Emanuela's story is not unique. There are a number of us that were self taught, there were a number of us who didn't have proper training on how to sell, how to market, how to find customers. So I'm sure you might be like Emanuela. You might have a similar story. So stay tuned, watch to the end, leave comments in the comment section, ask questions, you know. I also have the same link, my WhatsApp link, down in the description box that will take you right to my WhatsApp where you can chat with me and tell me you would like me to be your mentor. It's my pleasure. With my full chest, I'll mentor you. <laughs> so right now, I'm actually, um, I'm, I'm, I moved. I moved from where I was, and we are in a new place now. So, and it's it's really like in the interior. So for me now, it's so difficult to get customers because now, um, um, going back to 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 my former customers, they're like your place is far. So I'm actually looking for like new ways to make money or how I can be able to just maneuver. After I watched your video last time, um, I got an inspiration. I I I went into making shift dresses. So I'm actually like making really stylish shift dresses now, and to just see and then. And I'll look for ways to see how I can market and I'm really a very shy person so for me doing marketing now hmm. Immediately I meet the customer, I'm sweating. I'm like, how will I do this? Like, it's it's so difficult for me. So, but I know it's a stage. I'll, I'll get through it. I just I just feel there are times I feel like this is not going. I feel so left out, so useless. I when especially when you like stay for a whole month and you don't have a single customer to 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 maybe give you a dress to sew and and all that. So, for me now, waiting for people, I didn't want to sit and begin to wait for customers to come. I want to be able to make something, maybe to go out there and 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 sell and. I'm asking myself, how do I go about it? Is it just getting fabric, sewing, and going to sell? How how does I'm mean, now I keep asking myself, how does the business, how how does the fashion, how does it really run? And it's just questions I'll be asking myself. And when I got your video and you offered the mentorship, I was like, wow, maybe I could actually uh, maybe get to you and learn more. So I am actually open to learning, especially the business side of tailoring right now. Because if it's for sewing, I I I actually do. And I know that people like my designs. When they see what I have created, they like it. They want to buy. I, I just, just the other day, I, I decided to make a collection. 
a collection, like I was saying, of shift dresses. And a friend of mine came to visit, and when she saw the, the dresses, she was so impressed. She wanted all of them. I, I just made three pieces, so she wanted all of the three pieces in her size. So I had to go to the market, get fabric, come and make all of the three for her size. So I'm like, okay, maybe this thing can actually do work. So I'm just thinking, or well, maybe I should make it back to school. I, I should sew for teachers, like young teachers. Um, I should sew for women too, who also leave uh, home and go to work. I just make some really chic clothes for them. I will send you pictures of, of um, some of the things I, I'm, I'm making. But my problem now is how do I sell? How do I sell them and all that? So that's where I am right now. Emanuela, you are on track. What you are doing is actually the way to sell. But most importantly, you must bear in mind that you should be solving a problem. Really, you should be solving a problem. Like when I released the workwear collection, the problem I was trying to solve at that time is that I know that this is the middle of the year, right? January is always the best time to sell workwears because work is resuming and people need new clothes. The second best time to sell workwear is middle of the year, June, July. Because as people are coming back from summer vacation, they want new workwears. They want to look new and refreshed. They don't want to repeat the same workwears they've been wearing from January up until that time. Do you understand? So I had to make, I just did only three designs, just three designs of workwears. But you know the funny thing about when you design clothes, especially if you know how to sew, like bespoke tailoring, when you design those, when you put out those designs, you are going to get orders way more than those three designs. I got orders from the UK. One person wanted 15 office wears. With, that is 15 designs, 15 different designs of office wears. She bought the three designs I posted and bought more. Other people who saw my post also wanted office wears and sent me their own designs. They bought mine and still sent me their own designs. You're on track, Emanuela. What you're doing is just the right thing. Fashion is visual. Nobody knows what you can deliver if you have not already created it and delivered. For example, I'm already mentoring you. Emanuela, you have not paid me yet, but I'm mentoring you. That's how this thing works. You have to deliver before someone will remove money from their pocket and pay you. I don't know if you understand. And for you who is a tailor, you must show it first. Let us see. Okay? So yes, you're on track. You say you want to go and meet teachers, right? Also go to the maternity ward and make pregnant maternity wears for women. Go and meet them during antenatal and sell those clothes. Make clothes for babies. Meet them at the um, postnatal. Sell those clothes to them. Give them your business card. Give them your number. You're doing marketing. There's, nothing, there's no need being shy. Because look at it this way. If you sit at home for one whole month and you don't have a single cloth to sew, you are not happy. Right? So why don't you put your shyness under your feet and go out there and actually make yourself happy by getting orders? Find a problem to solve. If you go to a local school nearby you, they are currently on holiday, they are preparing for the new school session. New school session is starting in September. Right now, those schools are looking for people to sew uniforms for their pupils or their students. Go and meet them. You don't even need them. You don't even need to say, give me money yet. Just make one sample and bring to them. One sample and bring to them. Emanuela, you will show your hand will break because they will give you hundreds of uniforms to make. Let your targets be solving problem. Look for a problem and solve. Okay? If you go to the hospital, people need lab coats. Lab scientists, doctors, radiographers, they need lab coats. Produce your lab coats. Take them to the hospital. They will buy it all. Emanuela, this thing is easy. Look for the problem and solve it and money will enter your pocket. Emmanuel Fashion is very visual. If you can sew a jacket and it's only in your head, nobody would know you can make a jacket. Okay? If you can sew a trouser and it's all, or only in your head, nobody would know you can sew a trouser. What do you think showrooms are for? Right? They are to showcase your work. They are to show people that this is what you can do. In this day and age, we have lots of stay-home moms, lots of stay-home you know, workers, lots of stay-home people doing business from home. You don't have a showroom, right, at home? But you can still produce this thing and show people, you know. So Emanuela had to produce shift dresses, even when she didn't have orders for the shift dresses. And a friend came by, saw these dresses, and bought all of them. This is the same Emanuela that have been looking for customers. This is the same Emanuela that have stayed one full month, and nobody contacted her to sew anything for them. Have you learned the lesson today? You have fabrics. You do. If you don't, you have scrap fabrics. Do you know how creative you can be with scrap fabrics? If you don't even have scrap fabrics, go to the closest tailor to you. Get scrap fabrics. Get creative. Make something. Call the attention of people that you have something beautiful to sell and show it to them. It could be live. It could be through your WhatsApp status. It could be through DM marketing. You enter their DMs directly, politely. Show them your work. You could do it on Instagram, Facebook, you know. You could sponsor your post. You could, like, boost a post on social media platforms so you can reach other people who do not follow you, who are not friends with you, you know. 
There's so many ways to these things. In my mentorship program, I break it down and teach you clearly how to do it. Clear practical steps on how to sell, how to find customers, right? We think that advertisement is selling. No, advertisement is not selling. Advertisement is just showcasing your work. Selling is everything until the money enters your bank account. So you show a product to someone and the person said, oh, no, I don't want. <laughs> or, oh, maybe later. And you are discouraged and you think, oh, no, I did not sell. That was the process of selling. Another time, you need to put the same product in the face of these people. You need to continue to call the attention that you make the best shift dresses. You make the best shift dresses. And one day they would right, finally put the money in your pocket, finally put the money in your account. And then you now say, the sales is completed. You sealed the deal. But you can continue to sell to the same person over and over again. I don't want to make this video too long. So I want you to see another session. A session I had with someone who said her own problem is that she is too shy to even post on her status. Like, how do you people want to pack the money when you are not bold? <laughs> Have you ever seen a millionaire who isn't bold? Because look, it takes boldness and guts for you to actually come out and achieve something. Okay? So please listen to our session. I'm sure you might not be different. You might also be a very shy person. You don't know how to come out and you know, post your work on your, on your body. Or you're not even confident enough to post it. Look, let me, let me shock you. Some of these, my students, right? Will I call them students or mentee? Okay, maybe mentee. Some of these my mentee. They send me pictures of their work. And oh my God. Oh my God. They're so well. Like looking at the clothes in, on their body through the picture, the feet looks amazing, right? Even the design, they are creative. But low self-esteem, shyness, has been a common word or a common phrase when I ask them, what exactly is your challenge in business? So without much ado, just let's go into the session so you can hear our conversation and what's the solution I had for her. WhatsApp, at least. I wanted to say online, but I can't see everywhere online, but here on WhatsApp, I was watching. And to my amazement, Gloria, Except you didn't save my number because I have saved yours. I did not see you post anything on your status. Okay? So that's leading me to make this conversation I'm having now. Now, there is markets and there is a marketplace. Okay? Marketplace is the venue. While the markets are the people. Never in the lifetime of human have there been the greatest gathering of marketplace like social media. Never have people congregated in one place like social media. I currently have over 2,000 contacts on my phone. It's possible that the markets, the, the physical market close to my house here might not have up to 2,000 people in that marketplace. But I have 2,000 people in my phone, which is WhatsApp as a marketplace. Personally, if you've gone through my social media page, right, I use it more like a catalog. I don't sell much on Instagram. In a week or let's say once in two weeks, you know, I can have a strange person send me a message on Instagram to buy my clothes. My marketplace is this WhatsApp that I'm talking to you. I direct all my leads to WhatsApp here. Anybody who, most times, self, people who enter my Instagram, I tell them not to send me a DM. If you enter my Instagram, you'll see, don't send me a DM. Click the link in the bio to reach me. That link in the bio brings them straight to WhatsApp. So they don't even interact there on my Instagram. They do all the interaction here on WhatsApp, just like I'm talking to you like this. I interact with all my customers like this here on WhatsApp. The money exchange happened here on WhatsApp. They give me your account number, happens here on WhatsApp. They, this is my style. This is what I like. This is my measurement. This is my size. It happens here on WhatsApp, not on Instagram. WhatsApp is has the most user-friendly interface. Very easy. Even a grandmother can use WhatsApp. And WhatsApp is closer to us. WhatsApp is closer to its user than Instagram. You know, WhatsApp is more or less like the person is just near you like this. So my market happens here on WhatsApp. I'm sending you this voice note to let you know that don't take your business don't get tired of um, advertising your business don't get tired of marketing your products or your services put it on your status never a day should go by and you don't have something on your status initially when i started my business i used to think i should post one thing just once for example if i made this red dress and the red dress was fine i said they hot like that after production i don't post them and that's it i used to feel that to repeat making that post again and again will make people be feel like hey, hey now only one dress she did so that's a very wrong mentality you see coca-cola 
how many advertisements of Coca-Cola do in a year? As in, how many adverts do they produce in a year? I don't mean how many times do they repeat an advert. No, I mean do they produce in a year? The whole year, even for two years, three years, you are watching one advertisement. Same thing with MTN, same thing with Glow. One advertisement. The repetition, repetition is the cocoa in this thing I'm telling you about. When you continue to repeat something over and over and over again, it sticks in somebody's subconscious. So it doesn't matter whether I'm posting the same red dress every day. As long as I am showing up on my status, posting something, and then the 1,000 people on my phone, which is a marketplace, sorry, the 2,000 people on my phone, which is a marketplace, get to see these goods, babe, person go buy. Person go buy. If you look at my status right now, I have three posts there. I have sold one, and then I got others, like six more others. Because when one customer sees something she likes, there are other things in her mind that she likes. Because you were able to convince her with this one jumpsuit or pants set that you made, she's now going to bring out the other five things she wants to add to this order so i don't even need to show her so much all i have to show her is just one thing and that one thing can get me seven sales eight sales sometimes i have customers who give me box ghana must go of rappers ghana must go of fabric and say penzra saw all this one for me just because they saw one thing so gloria never ever go a day without posting your work on your status so what i want you to do for me right now i want you to go and look for three nice pictures of your work and put on your status right now I know you've not paid me to be your mentor or your coach yet. Eh, now, busybody, I did do, but this busybody, good for you. This busybody I'm doing right now will put profit in your pockets. So do that right now. Post three beautiful work that you have done on your status. I'm going to be waiting there to see. Okay? If you've watched this video up until this point, awesome. I appreciate you. But can you appreciate me by giving me a thumbs up? Just click the like button. And if you have any questions whatsoever, leave it in the comment section. If you'd like me to mentor you, there is a link in the description box that will take you to my WhatsApp where you can tell me you want me to be your mentor. If you want more content like this, don't forget to subscribe. Share this video to someone who would find it very useful. God bless you.